You know, last Saturday marked the 50th anniversary of the first Apollo moon landing. To celebrate the occasion, OMSI and the Rose City Astronomers Club held a star party for the public at Stubb Stewart State Park. Yeah, on today's Andy's Adventures, Andy shows us some of the fascinating things he got to see in the nighttime sky. We're here with my buddy Jim Todd from OMSI. The legend himself is with us, and we're going to do a little stargazing tonight. Is that right? Absolutely. We're going to take a look at Jupiter and Saturn and the moon to help celebrate the Apollo 11 landing on the moon that occurred 50 years ago. So you really think it happened? Yeah. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> How many telescopes are out here for people to take a look at? Usually we have about a dozen. Okay. And we're, we're very grateful for the partnership we have with Joe City Astronomers. They come out in full force and their knowledge and their enthusiasm. Uh -huh. And what, that's the whole idea that we want people to come out and enjoy the night sky. I'm excited about this. He's the geek about all this stuff. <laughs> and he's the one that set it up. Now you're getting me excited yeah, about good, it. Good, yeah, good, this, good. This will be cool. <laughs> How long have you had your telescope? Well, I have this, actually I have five of them. Okay. So it depends on what He's got a problem. Yeah, right. <laughs> Pete, we're here, this is this is intervention. Right? Get that as a garage sale? Tell me about this. No, built it, uh, yeah, it's all recycled parts. Uh -huh. It's called a Trichitzfiegler. Can we say that on TV? <laughs> what is it again? A Trichitzfiegler. Did you make that name up? No, these new telescopes are great because they have computer systems in them, but will automatically point and go to wherever you want in the sky. This is your telescope, I take it? Yes, sir. It, I wouldn't have guessed it's a telescope. I It, it looks very... Different, yeah. voice activated too. Uh, hey, telescope, yeah. give me Saturn. This is my first telescope. Wow. Yeah. 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 You went you went crazy with the first one. I did. <laughs> I really did. Hey, Rose City Astronomers has one of the largest clubs in America. Really? Over 600 members, and we have the worst weather. <laughs> but maybe that's why we love them so much. I would like to be scientists, so I'm really no. excited. Do you think Pluto is still a planet or not a planet? Pluto? Mm -hmm. No. Not a planet? Yes. Disney character? So how long have you guys been dating? Um, almost two years. Oh, two years. Yeah. You know, this would be a romantic place to propose. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. The sun has almost set, and they don't want any sort of white light around here, so we have a red filter over our light so we don't mess up their night vision. The International Space Station is flying overhead. It goes around about every 90 minutes. There it is. Just zipping across there. How high up is it? I think it's about 100 miles, okay. and it's going at 17,000 miles an hour. It's Jupiter's in there if you want to take a look. All right. Oh, yeah, there it is. And oh, and the moons and everything. Did you say one's hot and one's cold? Yes. So the uh -huh. yellow one's the cooler one, the uh -huh. blue one's the hotter one. Gotcha. That's kind of like us. I'm the hot one. <laughs> He's the cool one. Oh, that's the great red spot. <laughs> the great red spot. Yeah. They, they put a lot of time, a lot of effort into that name. Do you have uh, the Saturn channel? Man, that is, that's yeah. the way to do it right yeah. there. Oh, <laughs> holy cow. Yeah, you can. That's cool. That is neat. Oh my gosh, Andy, wow. this is one of my favorite pieces you've done. Oh this is so gosh. neat, and, and bravo on the photography, it was beautiful. I agree, it's hard to capture that stuff, but man, Andy and Mike, you guys did it. That was really fun. Really see. neat. Well, well, thank you, and, and it, what's so cool about that is it's it's free for you to show up. All you do is pay for the parking, and all the uh, Rose City astronomers, uh, they bring their uh, their equipment out here, their telescopes, and they let you look through there. It's like I mentioned, uh, it's like having a friend with a boat. You don't have to put the expense into it and the maintenance and get it from place to place. They have it, and they are more than excited to show you what they are seeing through there. And this whole area right here was filled with people and with the telescopes. I, I would guess there are maybe 20 telescopes telescopes or so, and probably three, 400 people that were all set up right here. They do it here and then also at Rooster Rock. And again, you can just show up. Now, coming up on the 12th of August, they're doing this again at these two spots for the, and remind me, Perseid meteor the shower. Perseid meteor shower. And they said for the meteor showers, there'll be thousands. There could be 3,000 people show up to see that. So it's it's one of those things you want to get there early. We got here when there's still plenty of daylight uh, to get a good parking spot and get your place established. And then Jim Todd does a great job of explaining what you will see and what will happen. And then also during the evening, pointing things out to you. So it was really, really cool and very educational for crying out loud. It was good. So thanks to everybody that helped us out with that. And of course, yes, great job with the photography and the editing and everything, Rico.